about that time again. It's no context Brits time. It's a staple of this channel at this point, the no context Brits videos. I think they just strike such a relatable chord with all of us British people. But before I get into it, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. There's loads of really good videos that I upload on this channel. And I'm very consistent with my uploading, I promise. Also, like and comment something really nice about me. It'll really boost my ego. But don't comment nasty things about me. That would hurt my feelings, all right? Good balanced wholesome meals packed with goodness. I'm like 90% sure rustlers don't count as food. They must be about 95% plastic. And I'm saying that as someone who's never had a rustler, so I could well be wrong, but I'm almost definitely not. Like, have you seen them? Have you seen the state of them? It's like proper sex offender food, that. Like, if you eat rustlers on a regular basis, you definitely have at least a suspended sentence. Kurt's birthday today got him good, bought him a cake from Asda, cut it in half, took all the inside out, and put a f- <laughs> Full raw Macquin with his eyes in and that. He's only went home to give it to his birds because <laughs> he didn't know I put the fish in it and caused a murder in it. That is brilliant. That is the best thing I've ever seen on this page. That's so good. That's just embarrassing. Like, who buys things like that at supermarkets? That is what eBay is for. Like, it's typically cheaper and you don't have to go through the awkwardness. I don't even know why they still stock, like, condoms and stuff in supermarkets. I've never seen anyone pick them up. It's just too awkward. It's like, you might as well just stand in the aisle and go, I am having sex! Which is really embarrassing and also cringe. Two minutes after ordering a takeaway. That, to be fair, that was ordering a takeaway, like, what, five, ten years? ago. Nowadays, who does that? All the delivery apps you have tracking on. You don't need to be looking out the window all the time. Nobody still does that. Get with the times, no context Brits. Walkers in road. You see what they did there? That was really clever because there's like a walkers packet in the road. They mean like walkers like as, as, in, as in walkers, but it's walkers packet. Bit of subtle comedy there. Pallet land. For my 24th oh, Jesus, I'm going to be 24 next year. For my 24th birthday, I don't want to go to Disneyland. I do not want to go to Fort Park. I just want to go to pallet land for all my pallet needs. And my firewood needs and all my animal bedding needs. Woman asked for corn on the cob in a Nottingham takeaway, and this is what she got. She deserves it. Who orders a corn on the cob at a takeaway? I'm doubting the legitimacy of this story. I don't think it's real. I very much doubt this is real. This is perfect. This is so good. So there's a Facebook group where people like count the chips at Weatherspoons, and there's five and a half thousand members of this group. And this was before it was even like a big thing on Twitter. This was just like the people that just found it, I guess, through word of mouth. So Johnny has posted, thought I'll get out early so I can have the rest of the day to myself. Chip count 42. Not bad, but not what I <laughs> expected. So therefore, we can all get a better idea of the numbers if I started to measure them too. Only two found 12 centimetres long. The rest were all between 4 and 10 centimetres. I will be monitoring this going forward. I don't think the minimum wage workers at Weatherspoons get paid enough for this shit. Like, imagine you just stood at the bar, like, serving someone their cheap, cheap rum and coke. And you look over and there's someone with, like, his Stanley tape measure measuring the chips. 21 chips. Average chip length was 2.75 inch overall. Good effort. He had 40 too. What's the big deal? He got off the chips of that guy. So Henry Tate Chorley, large mix grill, a bang average portion of 26. Pretty bang average, yeah. Although there are a few tiny ones that barely qualify as chips, partner wouldn't allow me to take the scales to weigh the chips. Oh, lever. Lever, Alec. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, mate. Tune. Opens 1st November, Thursday, 8am. I mean, it's genius marketing, really, because they know people will post that on social media. You fell for it. You fell for Aldi's crap. So disappointed the quality of food today. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you need the door when you got rid of I mean, 750 a month for London. That's not a bad price to pay. Although I am a big fan of the cardboard. Is that supposed to be the hallway? On what date is Christmas Day traditionally celebrated each year? Wednesday. <laughs> what? Bro, you've probably had about 70 Christmases. How did you answer it with that? Oh, I've seen this guy so many times. I cheated on my girlfriend on Thursday and this is my... That's just an L. But first of all, if you're going to cheat on someone, just leave them. There's no point being with someone if you're going to cheat on them. And if you're going to cheat on them and then they find out and they make you wear that, that man is embarrassed for life now. And hang on, hang on. In the comments, that's a different guy. That's a completely different guy. Is this just a social experiment? Oh, man. The Buzz Games. The Buzz Games really. My college shooter actually worked on one of them. The best one ever was Jungle Buzz. Oh, fuck FIFA. FIFA penalties are shite. This is this was where it was at. The only bad thing about Buzz was the controllers. There were so many fucking wires. It took like 20 minutes to untangle all of them. A tragedy happened. It did. That's crazy. Well, I'll tell you what, a, a, a real Greek tragedy that happened to me the other day. I was out with mates and there was a kebab shop. I was like, kebab shop. And we went to the kebab shop. I was looking at, you know, the menus on, on the thing. I was looking at them. No chicken nuggets inside. I was like, that is curious because chicken nuggets are normally a staple of a kebab shop. Anyway, I go to the 
the guy, what's the maximum amount of nuggets you have? And he was like, six. And I was about to go, that is fucking pathetic, quite frankly. I'll take 12. So I take 12. He whips out the car breeder. I can't quite believe my eyes. I'm scratching my head. Nine pounds for 12 nuggets. That's almost a pound a nugget. Are you taking the piss? So overpriced. I don't think I will ever be going back there. What was your childhood dream? Me? Oh man, I'd kill to go on that show. I'd have killed to go on that show. I think there was a point where my dad was going to apply to go on it. That would have been so cool. I'd have been the coolest guy at school. Retweet to confuse an American. I'm English and that confuses me. I fucking hate roundabouts. Like when I did my driving lessons, I can't for the record, I failed my test twice and gave up. When I did driving lessons, whenever I approached a big roundabout, I just kind of accept the fact that I might die. And I had to become okay with that because there was this mental fuck off roundabout. It was like a big roundabout and then there was like two other big ones. You go through one and you go through the other. I genuinely thought I was going to pass away every time I went through it. Oh man, he's just happy. He's on his way to work in the big city. <laughs> Why is he sitting on him like that? Sorry, what? I mean, I don't even like tea, but that is horrendous. That is like the most American thing I've ever seen. Can eat tea? Fuck off. Lads, what animal would you be if you could be any animal in the world? Pigeon. Just scram pure pasties in town. That's a fair answer. It's a very fair answer. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. They might want to lower the microphone a bit. It's a bit high. That was a lovely little sing-along I had. Really enjoyed that. No idea why Americans love biscuits and gravy so much. Fucking disgusting. That's a proper British dish that. I like to use my princess Diana plate, but I never cover her beautiful face. Brilliant. This is not a brothel. There are no prostitutes. <laughs> Imagine being in the position where you have to put up a sign. How does that even happen? What's more controversial, pineapple pizza or vegan pizza? My son's girlfriend is vegan and I always hide meat in her food because she is a cow. That's just mean. That's just horrible. People have dug up her recent posts. Sometimes I think I'm just too nice for my own good. Doesn't get me anywhere. What happened to respecting your elders? Shouting match with son's daughter again because I tested positive for COVID and still attended my nephew's first birthday party. I have every right to be there. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is this? This isn't just like a drunk night out picture. The establishment posted this. Why? How is this good promotion? She's drinking straight mayonnaise. What do you have to be on to be drinking straight mayonnaise out the squeezy bowl? What color should we paint our house? A, B, C. That's very good. Very clever. I like that a lot. I like the democracy that went into this. For the record, I'd probably say A. A greenhouse. Eh. It looks like sick. C is a bit too garish, a bit too bright, you know, red. I mean, I wouldn't choose any of them if I had the option to paint my house. Out of any of them, A. Major blowjobs for Dundee. Well, I'm happy for them. I really am. Cats like plain crisps. Well, that's great to know. Thank you. Thank you for that information. I will be sure to feed my cats plain crisps. I'm sure it'll be very good for their insides and everything. They'll be very healthy. Yes, respect to the true pioneers of the UK grime scene. This is a Curzon Man, man then C Mac, yeah. I can recite this word for word. I'm sure of it. Curzon Man then C Mac, yeah. Featuring little, little fucking Kev, Kev yeah. yeah. Over, Over there, there in that corner, corner we got our boy Ginger, Ginger Joe. Joe. Yeah, we don't fuck, fuck about. about. Kick, Kick it, Kev. Kev. Got on the bus with my day saver. I smoked the reefer in the corner. Lay low in the Grand Theft Auto. In the 05 V6, clear the twin turbo. Oh, how we roll with our backs. Holes, all we go. HSBC, we do them grass. We've got the money because we know how to rap. Yeah, that's a fucking other one, and we don't fuck about. Leathers, you mate, got shit yeah, on us. Yeah, pimping. You know that fucking. Tell them, Joe, how the fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Joe, how it is, yeah. Doom, you can go and fuck that shit, yeah, because we know how to do it. Curves on massive. You know that. Fuck. Peace. Brilliant, brilliant, elite video, S tier video. Brilliant, brilliant, elite video, S tier video. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay gets bitten on the nose by a puffin. Ramsay's barbecue puffin breasts. Oh, he lived to regret it. You do not fuck with Gordon. <laughs> Man shouting wakey wakey through megaphone at 2 a.m. is caught by police. Free up my guy. He ain't do nothing wrong. I'll tell you who we should arrest though. Those dickheads on like, I don't really get it that much now because I live in the inner city. But when I lived in the suburbs, there'd be like dickheads on, you know them like shit bikes, the ones that like, <laughs> they'd like go up and down my fucking road at like, three in the morning. So annoying. If you're one of those people, please crash. I'm sort of joking. What I mean is please stop. Stop riding your shitty fucking bikes. They're shit. They're bad. Desperate times were not that desperate. Yeah, now if you eat... Actually, no, those are hot. Oh, Weight Watchers Heinz baked beans. I thought they were like a different brand to Heinz. I was going to say like anything other than Heinz is just, it's just not it, is it? Mum said stew for dinner wouldn't bother coming home if I were you. Thumbs up. The classic dad fun. A staple. Minge Lane. Oh, you didn't have to leak my address like that. <laughs> Andrew Drinkwater, Water Research Centre. I bet he's very good at his job. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you want to see more videos like this, then the best way to let me know is by liking and commenting. And also subscribing if you're new. That'd be brilliant. So yeah, do that. All right, nice one. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. In a